talk to you about my tissue series. Um, I'm a visual artist. Things are my favorite things. And making things has always been my favorite thing to do. And recently, I've had the most fun and satisfaction making a series of paper sculptures that represent anatomical cross-sections. And I make them with a technique called quilling um, that is centuries old. It consists of taking uh, very tiny, uh, narrow strips of paper and uh, rolling them into little coils that can be kind of pinched and shaped and glued together. I tend to be attracted to really um, very intricate, kind of detailed, very time-consuming, tweezery types of art-making techniques. And uh, also to the inner workings of things. And when I first started experimenting with quilling, I found that I could um, make a lot of little shapes and I could group them together into building units. And also that I could make a sort of a cavity and I could keep squishing coils into it until it was all filled up. And uh, so I'm, I'm squishing, I got my cavities, and the, the coiled paper actually has kind of a fleshy quality, it's very malleable, and I started to think about anatomy fairly early on in a small way, and then um, in a very big way when I, I saw and absolutely fell in love with this uh, hand-colored photograph of a cross-section from an old French uh, medical book. And it was the inspiration for my first piece, uh, Female Torso. And then I made another, um, a variation of male torso this time in a different color palette. And as my skill and my confidence grew, um, the work got larger, I started to work life size. And this piece represents a transverse section through the abdomen at about the level of the navel. And in this detail, you can see the, the tiny tubes of paper that make up the bluish spinal cord um, in the surrounding vertebra. And eventually I started to show the work to people, and, uh, such as my friend Paul, and the two words that I heard most often used to describe the work were um, beautiful, which is always nice to hear, um, and I also heard kind of creepy. Um, this <laughs> piece represents a transverse section through the head, a little bit below the bridge of the nose. And I hadn't really thought about creepy too much. Um, I was so enthralled with the aesthetic possibilities that I saw in cross sections, their, their graphic gravity, uh, working out my technical stuff. So um, I'd kind of overlooked the idea that viewing the, the body in this sort of slice of deli meat fashion uh, could be a bit unsettling for people who are un unaccustomed to it. Um, so I took this beautiful, creepy dynamic uh, to mind, and I started to pay closer attention to the way that people pay attention to the work. And what I noticed was that people would come in very close for their first view. They would see the piece as an intriguing handmade object, and they'd put their nose up to the glass and enjoy the sort of subtle surprise that it's made of paper. Um, they would enjoy the kind of lacy, intricate quality of the quilling. They'd check out the craftsmanship, um, wonder how long it took to make. And then people would typically um, back away and they would be curious about what region of the body they were looking at. In this case, it's a transverse section through the chest at about armpit level. And now that the viewer is oriented, um, they would usually start to identify familiar anatomical landmarks. Um, so we know we're in the chest, so ah, that big shape in the center, that must be the heart, and I can see the way it's so beautifully um, surrounded by the lungs and how that uh, lovely encircling cage of the ribs um, protects and holds everything in. And uh, much to my delight, what I was seeing was that um, through this kind of push and pull of the beautiful and the creepy, that the work was serving as a means of connecting people to a greater familiarity um, with the internal landscape of the body, especially uh, when it's viewed in this map-like fashion. And also to my delight, um, the work was serving as a means of connecting me with people who are intimately familiar with this anatomical terrain. Um, dissectors um, and surgeons and uh, medical imaging technicians and patients, people such as yourselves, have gotten in touch to share their enthusiasm for the work, um, but also to tell me stories about some of the amazing things that they see and that they do. And um, people in the medical arts have shared their passion for anatomy with me by um, offering me access into some of these strange and specialized worlds that I always thought were out of reach for, for an artist, um, and they've become very accessible to me lately, which is really exciting. Um, this last piece I'm showing you represents a transverse section of hands in prayer position through this big knuckle in the base of the thumb here. And um, with it, I want to thank you for looking and for listening, and I invite you to keep in touch. Thanks. <laughs>